Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing a film that I got in from NBD Entertainment Group. It is entitled Fear the Forest, which this is uh, was released in 2009 by Lost Empire Films, but NBD recently picked this up for distribution, and it will be coming out on April the 20th. So, Fear the Forest starts off... Um, was showing a couple making out in the woods, getting it on, and they are killed by this creature that you only see glimpses of, quick flashes and, and, and stuff like that. And from there, those deaths stir up a local legend. Uh, you see news reports, you see people talking about it, and, and what they think it is is a Bigfoot being uh, in the area, in the wooded area. So a team of hunters go looking for this creature, and because there is a two and a half million dollar bounty put out uh, if you can find this Bigfoot, and of course you know they don't find it. You know they're looking, looking, looking. Well, later um, the governor of this town, his daughter Barbara, along with her friends Rick, Matt. Uh, and Wendy, and I think there was another one, I can't remember. They go on a camping trip to this place where all this stuff is happening. And when they're there, that night, Matt, around the campfire, tells um, this uh, Indian legend of Bigfoot. He tells, you know, the story of, I guess it's like the original story of Bigfoot or whatever. And after this happens, Wendy roams off into the woods and ends up finding some bones, and it looks like human bones. So they all start, you know, getting freaked out. Uh, you know that most of them doesn't think anything's there, but Wendy insists that there is. Um, you know, it's it's a, a horror movie setup. Um, and then you know, basically what happens from there is one by one they start getting picked off by Bigfoot, and they can't find their way out of the woods. Uh, and, you know, they run into Backwood Hill Jacks, you know, who look like they're going to help them, but they don't. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a deliverance take in, in with this also. Um, but guys, this movie, you know, it's, it's rare for me to watch a film, even something like this, like that, that, that I just cannot find anything good in it. And that is the case with Fear the Forest, unfortunately. Um, you know, I mean, this film looks extremely low budget. Like, it's rumored to have like a half million dollar budget, and I don't see how. I mean, I really do not see how. I mean, it does not look even a fraction of that budget. But that doesn't matter to me. I can still find stuff good in films, you know. Whether it be a charm, charm to it, or a certain sequence that happens, or just the story in general. And, you know, a lot of times with these low, ultra low budget films, you have to overlook certain things. You know, you have to look at the limitations that they have, you know, with the budget or with the acting or whatever. And, you know, you, you have to have some type of forgiveness, you know, with some of these films. Or, you, you know, if you're just looking at it on a surface level, you know, you 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 can sometimes just not like anything at all. You know, just you have to have a forgiveness. But with this film, guys, I could not find charm. I could not find anything with the story, and the acting was just across the board bad. It just was not good. I think if the film would have been played more in a fun way and not so serious. I would have liked it a lot better. It was just, it took itself way, way too serious. Like, they tried to play this out like a serious horror film, and it does not work whatsoever. Um, just not at all. Uh, the, you know, the Bigfoot creature, it, it's a guy in an outfit, obviously. I mean, at least they didn't go the CG route. <laughs> I mean, at least I can say that. Uh, but the Bigfoot looks completely silly. He's got a big, huge, like, overgrown head. And there's a nice little twist, I guess I could say, towards the end of this. But it's, you know, with things that happen earlier in a film, I mean, it's really not anything that comes out, you know, like, wow, I didn't see that coming, you know. Um, but guys, really, I, I just, you know, I, I only think, you know, the people that's only going to really enjoy this are, like, the most extreme of 
Bigfoot uh, film fan enthusiast. I mean, and even then, you know, enter at your own risk <laughs> it, because this is just. It's very long. It, it's it's way too long for you know the type of film it is. It's like an hour and forty five minutes, and you know there's just so much exposition of stuff that's just it's not of none of it's entertaining. None of it is really. I mean, I know they're trying to build the characters. Like when you're first introduced to Barbara and all of her friends, you know they're sitting around this pool and these guys come in. And they have a surprise, and this other guy jumps out, and it just none of it is. It just, it's not entertaining, and that's, you know, why I watch movies, to be entertained. Uh, and, and the stuff with the Bigfoot, it's just, there's, it just, it's just kind of there. I mean, there's really no, there's a little bit of gore in this, but it, it doesn't look good. It's not effective. Um, but guys, honestly, I just, I cannot recommend this film, to be honest with you. I, I can't lie. You know, I don't sugarcoat my reviews, um, and this just isn't. A good film. I'm going to give this film a 2 out of 10. Um, and like I said, you know, only people who have to watch every Bigfoot movie out there uh, are probably going to be the only ones to really get anything out of this film. Um, yeah, so this is out now. I will put the, or actually, no, it comes out on the 20th through MVB Entertainment. I will put the link below to where you can pick this up if you're interested. And um, I want to thank MVD Entertainment for sending this to me. They actually sent me um, some other films to review too, which I will be checking out soon and doing a review for. So yeah, guys, that is it for now. I'm Jason. You've been watching Beyond the Realms, guys. Have a good one. Later.